Microsoft has recently made a lot of buzz in the tech world with its billion-dollar investment in OpenAI and ChatGPT. The company that leads the way for artificial intelligence now wants to crack the code for nuclear fusion as well. The holy grail of unlimited carbon-free energy. Microsoft has signed a deal with Helion Energy to harness the power of the sun here on Earth for a limitless clean power supply. Helion Energy is an American-based startup researching nuclear fusion backed by Sam Altman, the founder of OpenAI and ChatGPT. And it is the first time in history a nuclear fusion company has inked a deal to sell electricity. After American scientists' historical fusion breakthrough by achieving a net energy gain for the first time, the dream of unlimited clean energy is coming one step closer as the race for nuclear fusion is heating up. Is this the beginning of a new carbon-free energy age powered by AI? Join us as we explore how Microsoft cracks the code for nuclear fusion with artificial intelligence. The fusion reactor ITER is currently being constructed in a collaborative effort of several countries in France. Its purpose is to demonstrate the functionality of the so-called tokamak concept. This concept belongs to the magnetic confinement method and involves a total of 24 gigantic field coils, weighing up to 400 tons. But this project turns out to be extremely costly. The design and construction of the reactor itself exceeded the preliminary estimated costs by many times, reaching and even exceeding $21 billion. However, the tokamak concept has a problem. Even after the completion of ITER, the fusion process will never transition to continuous operation, so it will never supply our grid with energy. But while nations are burning billions in an experimental fusion reactor, the private sector is building its own. This is where Sam Altman comes into play, the founder and CEO of OpenAI, which created ChatGPT. Altman has invested $375 million into Helion Energy, the largest investment he personally has ever made and said, we're not here to build systems in a lab, we're here to sell electricity. This has always been the dream. His other big bet is artificial intelligence company OpenAI, in which Microsoft invested a whopping $13 billion. And now, Microsoft has signed a power purchase agreement with the nuclear fusion startup Helion. The first time in history a fusion company has inked a deal to sell electricity. But Helion is not building the tokamak reactor. The startup has an entirely different approach by building a so-called field reverse configuration. And this is how it works. Helion's pulse fusion device heats up deuterium and helium-3 into ionized gas called plasma, the fourth state of matter after solid, liquid, and gas. The plasma is confined here in a toroidal donut shape through magnets that are wrapped around Helion's device. The device's magnets fire sequentially, accelerating the plasmas on each side toward each other at a velocity greater than 1 million miles per hour. They collide in the fusion chamber at the center of the device, where the magnetic fields are rapidly increased. This compresses the plasma, increases the density and pressure, until the plasma reaches temperatures exceeding 100 million degrees Celsius. At such temperatures, the atomic nuclei fuse to form helium, releasing energy in the process similar to what occurs at the core of the sun. The released energy strengthens the magnetic field of the plasma and pushes back the magnetic field of the machine, causing a change in magnetic flux. This change in magnetic flux induces an electrical current into the machine's coils, which are recaptured as electricity and directly supplied to the grid. This whole process occurs in a millisecond and is repeated in a pulsed manner. The device's energy output can be adjusted by changing its repetition rate. Helion is currently building its seventh generation fusion machine named Polaris, which aims to increase the pulse rate from one pulse every 10 minutes to one pulse per second and produce electricity by 2024. As part of the agreement, Helion is expected to have its fusion generation device online by 2028 and to supply Microsoft with 50 megawatts of clean fusion energy, the equivalent of approximately 40,000 homes in Washington state. While Helion's deal with Microsoft is to get 50 megawatts online, the company eventually aims to produce one gigawatt of electricity. 
One gigawatt of energy is approximately equivalent to the capacity of a medium-sized nuclear power plant that can supply the electricity needs of a substantial metropolitan area. But it's also the energy to meet the substantial power demand of a large-scale power-hungry data center that supports the storage, processing, and distribution of vast amounts of digital information. Like the one that Microsoft operates to power the artificial intelligence of OpenAI. If we can make AI systems more and more powerful for less and less money, same thing we are trying to do with energy at Helion, Altman said. As demand for artificial intelligence is increasing exponentially, so is the demand for energy to process all the billions of digital data. As responding to climate change has become an increasingly urgent goal for companies and countries around the globe, so it is for Microsoft. After all, Microsoft needs more and more power and has aggressive climate goals. Microsoft has a goal to have 100% of its electricity consumption matched by zero carbon energy purchases by 2030. This includes renewables, nuclear, and most recently, nuclear fusion as well. This is the reason why Microsoft tries to crack the code for nuclear fusion with AI. And even though many people are afraid of artificial intelligence and its potential risks and consequences, it can be a useful tool in new scientific discoveries, like it has been done at the German fusion reactor Wendelstein 7X. Scientists have reported a significant new milestone for nuclear fusion, which has only been possible with the help of AI. Watch the displayed video to learn more about the fusion reactor being powered by AI, and subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any new videos.